Workers are back on the job after that three-day strike that shut down 36 of our nation's ports. Late last night, the International Longshoremen's Association announcing the pause, giving both sides until January 15th to finalize a deal. Now the attention shifts to getting operations back to normal. Jeremiah Beatty has new details. It was the largest disruption in history. More than 45,000 dock workers walked off the job and onto the picket line. Dock workers are demanding better pay and a ban on automation, but for now, the strikes are on hold. The union and the International Longshoremen's Association agreed to pause the three-day strike until January 15th, allowing more time for contract negotiations. Dock workers returned to work this morning offering relief for consumers, but leaving many wondering what comes next. Workforce commentator Thomas Fellows believes automation is still a threat to job security. So in terms of machine take away jobs, they will let that happen, which leaves the employer in a very precarious position. At the start of this, the union demanded a 77% pay raise over the next six years and a total ban on automation. The U.S. Maritime Alliance responded with a 62% raise, triple contributions to benefits, and pledged to limit automation but not get rid of it completely. You know, that will never be solved because if, if, if companies can automate tasks, they will because it'll increase profits, and that's the whole point of a business. With the strike on a tentative pause, the next few months will be crucial in determining the future of negotiations. If they strike again, then we're going to have serious issues once we get to that 15 to 20 day mark. Reporting for 13 News Now, I'm Jeremiah Beatty.